putting in work in Ultimate. I think he's got a couple tournament wins under his belt here in Georgia. Of course, he's a native of this state, so he's going to be the hometown hero. Nice. Suarez from my home of New York. Yes, and Suarez has quite the resume under his belt. Has brought a lot of amazing... He has a lot of uh, set wins on amazing players and, of course, a lot of very close set wins, like those Game 5 last dog, last hit situations, like uh, versus Light at Frost, but that was a crazy set. Multiple this times against Light. Almost every time they play. It's yeah, like that. Suarez is so good. Like, he really is, yeah, man. I, I definitely third think in New York, only behind DeBuzz and Jen. That is absolutely insane. I, I think there's no contest on uh, best Yoshi in Ultimate so far. Suarez kind of takes the cake there. So we're going to see uh, Yoshi battle it out here versus Sonido, one of the main mans doing it with Sonic. Yeah, both of these guys, by the way, just super chill in real life. Kind of shout them out for that. But of course, there are no friends on the battlefield or on the Pokemon Stadium. So there's the up air. Definitely uh, notorious in this game for not working. Uh, yeah, that second hit, rare if, if uh, ever to connect. Yeah, it's crazy. And then um, one, one big thing. Oh, is that your soul? Ooh. Yes, it is. <laughs> you saw Yoshi lose that spin dash trade, though. His egg roll just yeah. clean beaten <laughs> out by Sonic. <laughs> then he's like, all right, you know what, man? Enough messing around. That move is probably an input error anytime it comes out anyway. It's one of the troll moves that didn't really make it to uh, being broken. Nikita made it to being broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. And so did Rob side B. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the side Bs, man. There's yeah, yeah, just yeah. a few that are so bad. Next game, Egg Girl is going to be like, kills you at 80, safe on block. <laughs> yeah, and roll out too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I just, okay, so he's definitely, I'm pretty sure he's not doing it on purpose. Usually those are B reverse uh, egg tosses there. Yeah. But there is a rule that the first time you use it, Egg Roll will always work. So Nito defying that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a lot of people think unpunishable. This back throw should be it, even with Yoshi's. What? Okay. Dang, no rage. Dang, Sonic really did take a hit, huh? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Sonito's still out here putting in work, so I don't know. The jury's still out, of course. A yeah, lot of time left for the metagame to oh. evolve here. Love yeah. that jab lock into forward tilt from Suarez, but not too much off of it. Yeah, good DI on the forward tilt. A lot of people will be caught slipping DIing in or no DI on that forward tilt, and you get a free follow-up after that. Suarez, of course, after the jab lock, could have gone for another down tilt jab lock, but he just wanted to cash out with the damage nonetheless. I mean, he's got 63 already. Ooh. Dang. All right, decent amount of extra credit here for Suarez, but Sonido still fighting. Going to take that stock without taking too much damage. You can't fall out of the uh, you can't fall out of up air if you just hit with the last hit of up air. See, Sonido knows what's up. It's just like in melee with Fox's up air, right? You can yeah. smash the eye out, but you got to get those single hit up airs. So yeah, truly optimal. Off the up throw, and you just space it so you just get the last hit. Yeah, I thought I saw Sonido land both hits of the up air there, but hey, man, very tired, so <laughs> I wouldn't trust my eyes. Oh, and another move that uh, he's gotten crazy buffs, Yoshi back air, man. Yeah, that just melts you, especially if you DI it wrong. You think, yes. oh, it's a back air. It's going to send me left or right. Let me hold left or right. Nope. Yeah. That's going to get you killed faster. Yeah, you got to hold, hold that like, down. Down and out, yeah. Down and out. Yeah, because it's a vertical move, mm -hmm. vertical knockback. Yeah, and it's, it's such a good move, um, especially when Yoshi's in these last dog, last hit situations. This takes up a lot of area. And you got to respect Yoshi facing forward and backwards, too. In the other games, you could, like, oh, Yoshi's facing backwards. Like, I actually don't have to respect you unless you're going for, like, beer versus neutral beer or something. Yeah, backwards, like, okay in Smash 4. Pretty bad in all the other games. But, man, out here in Ultimate, it'll just wipe you off the board. But, man, let's talk about how Sonido has brought this all the way back, almost yeah. all the way back for real after that spin dash. I just love his usage of the run speed Sonic has. And, you know, um... Uh, in Smash 4, it was a lot of uh, spin dash canceling with shield, but what how Sonidos is playing right now so, so well. He's just utilizing that run speed, dashing all around, and that's what you really have to do with Sonic. And that forward smash is actually like really good in this game, too. Sonic forward smash. Uh, it's so terrifying. One of the scariest spacing tools. A lot of range, a lot of power, and not so much ending lag. Ooh. This guy's kind of floundering to peel back the second stock, and just as I say that, Suarez is going to do exactly as we described with back air and melt Sonidos' face into yeah. the final stock of this match. And I wonder if it's shield poked, actually. Um, shield poking being rel very relevant in this game, which I like because it's like you can't really just sit there and shield like you could in Smash 4 for very long times, and then like rolling is not as good, too. So if you're, you are you really get rewarded for how you pressure someone's shield. Yes, and you also get rewarded for angling your shield. If you're clutch enough to do that, yes. a really tense moment, it could pay off in spades. Ooh, Sonido going to back it up and wow. just forward smash as Suarez is still on the chase. He has the lead, though. There's no reason for him to beat. Going that hard at Sonido. Of course, sometimes it's very tempting. You just want to finish the game. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, that's that's where you can, you know, lose stocks off the board, you know, throw away a really good lead. But it that's at, at the same time, you can't be so scared to the point where you lose your confidence, right? Yes, absolutely. 
Oh, wow. Okay, big damage for Sunitos here. Just 40% apart. And man, this is only the top 128. This is best of three. This is so crazy considering the talent we're dealing with. These players could be in grands at your local, man. Yeah. Just easy. saying. Okay. They could be in top eight at a regional. Yep. Okay, Momocon, awesome. though, one of the biggest tournaments of Ultimate to date. S tier. Yeah, I had that's to cap still so the crazy, entrance. Man. Yeah. I was actually kind of tight. I wanted to enter. The, the, the entrance got capped before the con even like started. Yeah. That's wild. Like, because at cons, you can get so much more entrance. Like, this could have easily been, like, I feel like 2,000. Like, it, it could have been wild, but of course, you know, you gotta you gotta regulate some stuff. We don't want to be here for like five days running a tournament. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, you're right, though. Think of all the new faces that probably had no idea what Smash G was and yeah. wouldn't be able to sign up. Either way, things are getting really tense here. Down to the last hit of the game, pretty much. Any good Smash from Yoshi, any forward Smash for Sonic for sure, and his back air, of course, really powerful too. Suarez in the disadvantage, trying to get back down to the stage. Using this platform as a comfort zone, but why? Who died? Okay, it's gonna be Suarez. <laughs> I saw two blue figures fly to the left, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man, that wow. was a trade of, so much. I wanna say, it was definitely Sonic's back here, but I'm not sure what Suarez hit with. Yeah, I Something wonder not if that strong, though. Bear or maybe Nair. I, I even Nair. Yeah, probably Nair, and that that's the one thing that, um, uh, one of the things that still remain really, really good with Sonic. You know, forward smash still really good, but that back air. Um, it, it's so strong, it lingers for so long, and even the lingering hitbox is like just as strong, if not stronger, than the initial hitbox. It, it's really crazy how strong that move is. Yeah, it's super good, and it has a lot less landing lag now in Smash Ultimate. And yeah. Of course, across the board, many aerials saw a severe reduction in landing lag in the 30 to 40 percent range. Yeah. Sonic players, probably the one thing they're really happy about in this yeah. game. Yeah. And one thing I really like about Sonic more in this game, I mean, I didn't. I wasn't too fond of playing against Sonic in Smash 4, but I like how they equalized oh, you're it. Oh, man? Come on. Yeah, it's just... It, Not a man of culture, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I absolutely love the Sonic games, too. But the the thing about Sonic in this game, he just feels a lot more well-rounded. Your, your strategy isn't so focal-pointed around, like, two to three moves. So it's like... I, I really like the change to dash attack. Like, even if they made Sonic yeah. like a meta character in this game, I wouldn't really mind it because he feels like a more normal, like, quote-unquote Smash character where it's like, okay, I, I'm fast, I got my gap-closing Smash or, like, dash attack. You know, he definitely feels like that kind of character. He even has some really cool strings out of Spin Dash as well. But, yeah, I definitely like how more well-rounded it is. Um, maybe a wrong stage pick here. Yeah, I think so. All right. I think so gonna standing up right now. Both check their controls and... Reset the game. All right. Yeah. Okay. Pause being off. Of course, is why they're running off the stage. Oh, and they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, Yoshi makes so many funny noises. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> dude, Mario 64 Yoshi sound effects were legendary. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I don't even. I can't even do it, man. It's just crazy. Like that game was so good. Who is the voice actor for that? I must know. <laughs> You're absolutely a legend. Every time I hear like really goofy noises, I always just imagine someone in like a sound booth like just making those noises. I'm like a human being yeah. made yeah. those noises. <laughs> like that's wild. Probably with a little help from some digital modification. Right. But <laughs> it's more funny to imagine the actual person doing it. Yeah. You know, note for note. Oh, dang. Whoa. Yo. Dang. We should move it out here. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know this guy made Sonic. <laughs> Gotta so go fast. Use control right there <laughs> to speed enough control. time instead of slowing it down. <laughs> Dang, man, I didn't know his trophies were up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, either way, all seems to be right in the world of gameplay. Sumido getting the first opening. As far as able to respond with just a quick straight hit, but, man, you see how threatening these spin dash combos are. That's one thing that has remained a constant for Sonic. Yes. Yeah, and even though he can't cancel the spin dash with shield, we still see Sunido utilizing the strategy of, I have Sonic's run speed, let me dash out of your uh, attack range, come back in with the spin dash, even mix up some of the charge timing, but just not the core strategy, just because you can't cancel with shield, and parry in a homing attack, that wow! beautiful, uh, you know, on the subject of moves that have gotten better, aside from back air with the landing lag reduction, dash attack being a real move, that homing attack now actually a real move as well. Yeah, homing attack probably Sonic's best move, if not, because even like out of spin dash too, you can usually guarantee a homing attack follow up, and just even like, when you hit someone's shield with spin dash, the strategy in Smash 4 was like, oh, Sonic hit my shield with spin dash, I'm gonna drop shield, chase him down. But now he can mix up with like, oh, I just hit your shield with spin dash, let me instantly homing attack, if you drop shield, I'm hitting you. Or delay the homing attack and wait yeah. it out too. So many new options for him. I like that from Sumino using the reverse spin dash Ooh. at the edge. That's the Meek Speedy, by the way. From yep. Brawl. Oh, Shouts to a legend. Yeah, Meek Speedy making it work in uh, Sonic's worst game. <laughs> I'll probably have to say. Sumido doing just the same. Oh. 
big okay. chance for Suarez. No, just gonna pop forward air into Nair. Thought wow. maybe we'd see some up air combos for the yeah. juggle, but doesn't matter. Sonido gonna take the first stock, and he wasn't off to such a good start in the first game, but he still managed to win. Now that he's starting off strong, this is not looking great for Suarez. Yeah. And one thing I want to note too is Suarez was able to live earlier. The change to Yoshi's double jump um, armor is a big deal. Now it's just like a flat minus. So if you start your double jump and you just get hit by a move, it used to be like, oh, if it's just above X knockback, you have no armor. Now it just straight minuses. But sometimes you'll see Yoshi just like fly nowhere after getting hit it's because they yep. double jump. Yep. Such a cool attribute that he has. Of course, very unique to him. Yes. Suarez, though, 92% down. How's he going to make this up? Yoshi has a pretty insane combo game, but Sonic really good at escaping using his up B. Partially intangible. Or actually, did they take that away in this game? That I don't know. All right. Well, I know it's fast. Maybe like, less intangible, but yeah, either way, a great escape. And also, like, leaves a hitbox underneath you, like, a, a pretty much a perfect place to, like, leave a hitbox and be like, deuces. Dang, going deep for this edge guard. Wow, both players barely making it back to stage. Yeah, having to fall back on the top from the egg and the directional air dodge up. Oh, oh Suarez accidental for sure. <laughs> that was perfect timing to go for a B reverse egg lay. And I, I just feel like right now, Sanito's doing such a great job of knowing when and where Suarez is trying to abuse Yoshi's great air drift to drift into certain areas. And he's just getting out of the way with punishing, getting out of the way with punishing. Really utilizing Sonic, the fastest character in the game, his biggest strength is going to be that run speed. Oh, the egg. Great answer to the spin dash, stopping Sonic cold. Yeah, there's that double jump saving Suarez once again, man. And that's why Yoshi can just live for so long. And jump comes out on frame one. So he has a defensive frame one option to get out of these really sticky situations. Yeah, that armor's so valuable in a pinch especially. Oh, Suarez. Oh, oh, falling right into Sonic's clutches. That back throw, I believe, also a little bit weaker than it used to be, but still enough to get it done. Yeah, that 170 mark for sure, even on a heavy character like Yoshi. Man, and yeah, Sonic definitely having not the craziest uh, grab confirms, like Inkling, but uh, still very solid, you know, throwing a hit, got up throw into that up air there, and Sonido just really solidifying his lead. And, oh man, another thing to point out about that up as well, you can use it out of the spin dash, giving you quite more mix-ups. A lot safer than that homing attack as well. Oh, shoots the homing attack into space right there. Man, and this is, this, I would honestly like, these guys are very, very close in skill level, but I, I would say just from the resume, this would be a pretty big upset for Sunito. And I mean, I mean, he's definitely looking for it. He wants to prove that his region is up there that can tangle with the best. I was thinking exactly the same thing, Korean, because Suarez has gotten a lot of chances to travel, make big impressions out of region and within his own. And of course, I think Tri-State has more eyes on its local scene than Georgia does, but Sunito making a case for why that shouldn't be the case. Yeah. Exactly, and I mean, that, that's what it's all about. Wow, the hold on that spin, um, the homing attack, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, just waiting and waiting and then yep. releasing it. Suarez, though, bleeding out kind of heavily right now. 81%, even if he manages to take the stock now, he's still at a huge disadvantage. Oh, oh I, I, I was oh. like, are you going to live that, though? Like, And that's how strong that move is, cross stage, and that was correct DI coming out from Sinido. And Sonic is pretty heavy. And he just died at 140 after the hit. That is an uh, insanely strong move here. But right now, Sanito trying to close this out. Yeah, Suarez, do you have what it takes to make up for this 130% deficit? Like we were saying, Sonic, one of those harder characters to combo for sure. Even for the likes of Yoshi. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yep. We're here talking about combos. Just a simple stray hit on that back air is enough to send Suarez to the loser's bracket. Excellently done by Sanito. Hometown hero coming out of Georgia. Yeah. That is a very, very nice one to have under your belt. Sonito bringing it home for, like you said, once again, Georgia. And that's where we're at right now, Atlanta, Georgia. Momocon 2019, of course. And just the classic sneak around, man. I, there's so many times in Disadvantage where you're like, you burn your double jump or you burn some kind of resource to go high, and then you catch them slipping and you fall on top of them with the back air and you're like, sick, I just got the sock or I reversed the situation right there. Sonito definitely hitting them with the classic sneak around there. That move is just so threatening, especially with all the ways Sonic has to go into it, right? You can use a spin dash into jump, you can use a B and then have freedom of movement afterward. Yeah. And you can just use your speed and surprise them with a the RAR from halfway across the stage. Yeah. And dude, there's there's actually some people wilding out there putting Sonic in their bottom five, bottom ten. And it, it's crazy because no I just feel like this character is so underdiscovered because the way you played him in Smash 4, it's like you cannot do that. You just can't. Right. It's like the character strategy got completely flipped, and I just don't feel like there's enough players that are willing, like they're willing to dive into Sonic's new strategy. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's just it's hard. I mean, it is hard though. For sure, only a few are sticking with the character. Of course, Sonito. I mean.